Hey YouTube friends, in this in this video here I'm going to check the power transformer out almost in real time because I did a slight rehearsal to make sure that the thing would work and it does work so I'm not trying to like fake you out and say oh well, I'm just doing it all right now but the transformer does work but I'm going to show you how I did it because it took a while to set up I had to get the equipment set up here and the lead set up and the voltmeter, all that, all that mess. So, you know, I just had to um, get it all set up first. Now, what I wanted to mention to you guys is this. Um, you got to take safety precautions. And I want to show this real quick. And you could, you could stop it and then you can read all that nice mess right there. So what I'm doing here is I got um, safety stuff like, rip, that's heavy, isolation transformer, and I got a Variac. And I uh, have this, this box I made, just shows the voltage going into the transformer, and it shows the current. And what I had done was I put a 1.5 amp fuse into here. I took the 3 amp one out. I took it, took it out, put 1.5 amp in the Variac, and I got, I got a like a little temporary power cord hooked up to the AC input of the radio. Let's see if I can show you that. It goes right here. Because the core that was on there was totally shot. That was no good. So, what I'm going to do... Oh yeah, one thing here. Uh, do not... Do not drink alcoholic beverages when you're doing this kind of work. Uh, this is the cold one. And when I get this all tested, I'll pop the top here. The Warsteiner. Uh, German beer. Made something like since 1600... Maybe even earlier than that. Yeah, Germans don't fool with beer, you know? Okay, so... Okay, let's try this out here. Oh yeah, before I start, I took the rectifier tube out. Like so. So, well, I might as well flip it over. I'm going to flip the chassis over. That. Take this screwdriver out. Flip this bad boy over. Nothing like manual labor, huh? What I'm gonna do is stick the screwdriver back in there on this side to hold it. Okay. Now let's see if you can see this here. This is the weird socket for rectifier tube. So what I gotta do is test the uh, plates. I'm gonna test the plates out or test the voltage on the plate to see if it's um, transformer is working for the high voltage part. So here's the show you the schematic here. I've got the schematic la 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 here. Of course it won't show up. Here. There's the rectifier tube. And here's the secondary winding of the power transformer. It's going to be checking the two end legs. And I figure like it's going to be around 700 volts because that's what kind of like it typically is and you need like 350 volts on let's say you need 350 volts on plates on some of the tubes and maybe lower than that but I'm approximating like 300 volts 350 volts so you know the they use like the center tap for those for the voltages for the plates of the other tubes but it should be 700 volts from leg to leg of the power transformer 
So what I did was I got some leads set up here. And I already looked on the, um, well, let me show you that too. This thing that I got, it shows how to measure the voltages on all the tubes. And here's the, the pinout of the rectifier socket. So I already know it. I, I got it memorized because I've already done this already. But this is one plate or one leg of the power transformer. And here's the other thing. It goes around. Here it is. This is the other side. And turn this. Okay, that was already on. <laughs> But the voltage was low and this is off too. So I turn that on, I turn this on, and I'm gonna turn the meter on, put it on 600 volts. And that's how that meter goes. Turn it up. And you can see that the voltage is going up. Oh yeah, by the way, I actually I actually marked the variac, put a mark with a magic marker where 115 volt is because Philco wants 115 volt input. So I'm turning it up here and I'm watching it and that's about 115. I'm getting 718 volts. Now it's only a 600 volt scale so I probably don't want to keep keep it up like that. This wasn't a very expensive meter. This was a El Cheapo, but I don't want to burn it out. So I'll put it lower. Turn that box off there. Turn this off here. Okay, so I know that works. The transformer works on the total and leg to leg of the secondary. So now I'm going to check the heater out, or the cathode portion of the rectifier tube. Put this on 200 volts, turn on, on, turn this up to 115, and I'm getting 4.5 volts. Should be 5, but I'll take 4.5. Okay, to turn this off, off, lower that. Then we'll put one leg back into here. That's one side of the uh, power transformer, one leg of the secondary. I'm going to flip this around, and I have to test the center tap out. And the center tap, of course, should be half of 700 volts. So I'm going to flip that around. I'm going to secure this. Here's the other screwdriver I use. on this side. Okay, good. Okay, got the frame secured. Hi. Got the frame secured. And I gotta test the center leg. Now from the schematic, look on the schematic. And the schematic shows Yellow and green tracer. Yellow and green tracer for the for the center tap. So I have one one lead of the of the voltmeter stuck stuck in the rectifier socket. So all I gotta do is find the um, center tap, yellow and green tracer. So I'm gonna use this lead, like I said, one hand in my pocket when I do this, and I'm sitting on a wooden stool on a rubber mat, isolation transformer, all that good stuff, because I don't want to get zapped. That wouldn't be any fun. So here's the lead, 
and I'm going to find the yellow and green tracer. It's here. I already checked that out beforehand. And that goes right to here. So here we go. Oop, I gotta turn this meter up to 600 again. Here we go. Yeah, I'll hold it on there. 365. It's about half of 700. I'll lower that. Okay, I got one more thing to check. Turn the variac off. I gotta check the regular heaters for the uh, filaments, but I'm almost all the way there. So, so I'm gonna unplug. See, unplug the uh, the lead that goes to the socket that goes to the plate of the rectifier. So all I gotta do now is to put one end on one of the heater leads, one of these 6.3 volt heater leads. That's it there, and I know that because I guess you get some experience and I know how it's wired. And this wiring is like really good on this radio. So I'm gonna turn this on, turn this on, crank up the Variac to 115, and <clears throat> find the heater lead, should be here. I gotta turn this down to 200 volts again. And there it is. I got 6 volts. 6.0 volts. So that's for all the regular heaters, all the 6.3 volt heaters. So power transformer is good. So, I'm happy about that. It's pulling from my special test box here, homemade. About 0.4 amps just from the primary of the uh, power transformer. And maybe a little under 0.4 amps. There's my voltage. It's about 115 on there. So um, there's no funny sounds coming out of, out of the transformer. There's no uh, uh, sizzing. It's not heating up or anything. I can feel it. Not heating up. It's good. It's golden. This power transformer transformer is golden. So, you know what that means, kids? It means time for a Warsteiner. Got this handy tool implement because the Germans do not believe in screw tops. Maybe because they're shipping it from Germany. Cheers, folks. good. It's good. You two friends, have a great day. Take it easy. Bye.